Nation. Action, <laughs> Yo, 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 man. You know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show on the planet, man. Right. Straight from the E Block Radio. Live on your dial. Yo, we got somebody tearing up the studio right now, man. <laughs> now, we, we even hit the clicker, though. That's right. <laughs> oh, you want it? Action. Man, this, this is broke as hell. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Let's try this again. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! You know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show on the planet, man. Straight from the E Block Radio, live on your dial right this moment. Got your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis, holding it down from six mile to the mile high. I got my man Monk Money in the building. Man, you know what it is. Yo, know I got my man Angry Man in the building. Right. Yo, that's what's up, man. We up in this bitch, dog. After a little, uh, that wasn't even technical difficulty. I don't know what that shit was. Nigga, <laughs> down here fucking all around. Yo, if you check us out right now on uh, we could. If you check us out right now on uh, E Block Radio, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you at, man, hit me in the yeah, comment you, box. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? Hit, hit me in the comment box. Make sure that y'all can hear me, man. And say comment on our dope ass background though, cause we uh we on the bricks. You know what I'm saying? saying? The block, baby. Right, we straight on the block, you know what man. I'm Right in the alley in front of the brick wall and shit. What's up, out? Chopping it up. <laughs> For sure, man. Hit me in the comment box, man. Make sure the sound is good. Uh, let me see what else we want to do. Uh, let me hit this. Of course, it is uh, Social Media Thursday, too. So if you got social media, you got to hit up my man's Real Monk Money. And, of course, myself at uh, Hood Howard Stern. We're going to get Angry Man on, on that joint, too. We're going to get Angry Man on Twitter and some shit. Yeah, gonna get <laughs> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're going to get him on Twitter, though. Like, this thing yeah. probably don't even know what the Twitter is. <laughs> he said, "Just don't fuck with it." Low key, I don't know really. really no. You don't know what it is. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yo, when we in this motherfucker, man, you already know exactly what it is. But uh, it's been seven days since the last time we've been on air. Okay, M- Marty, what's what's good with you, dog? Man, ain't shit. Ain't shit. Yeah, man, ain't shit, bro. It's got to be some. Uh, yeah, I'm walking. I'm still alive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, well, that's always uh, good. That's that's a beautiful thing, but. <laughs> But nothing really, you know, major going on, dog. Same old shit, bro. Keep it low. Nothing flow. major going on. Nah, okay. keep it low to flow like an ant. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Um, nothing, bro. I ain't got shit. I, I watched this yeah, fucking. Shit. <laughs> I watched this <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit on that. <laughs> I ain't do that. Yeah, you did that shit. <laughs> it's just a lot of shit back there. I fuck with this book. This this shit on Netflix, bro. It was pretty good. It's like some futuristic, future, futuristic <laughs> shit. Yeah, I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, what you I'm talking about? That uh, like, Alter, the what is it? Yeah, Alter Carver, Carver. Alter Carver. You that, watch that shit? That shit fire, bro. I'm not up on it yet. So I what, wasn't up what on is it that shit about? But it's like he's a fucking. He was some kind of, uh, uh you know, agent. Yeah. Of, of the future and shit. From okay. Different planets and shit. Yeah. And then they put you into sleep in this little shit, and you woke up as a different, a whole different. You wake up as a whole different motherfucker. For real? Yeah, it's pretty dope, dog. So he got. Yeah, I ain't up on that shit. At so all. he woke up with a better body, better shit. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? better shit. He was already okay. assassin. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this rich motherfucker, you know, came and got him, wanting to solve his murder. Okay. But he did. He got killed, but you know, you can go fucking reincarnate yourself with this little chip. Yo, I am not up on no, that, that shit. No, this shit fire, bro. That shit fire, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit fire, bro. I've been oh, watching man. it lately, though. No, I'm really enjoying that. I might have to get up on that shit. Austin yeah, I ain't Carl- Alter, Alter Carbon. Carlton. Alter Carbon. Some yeah, shit Alter like Carbon. Yeah. yeah, that shit fire. Yeah, some Netflix shit, man. That's. I ain't, yeah, uh, somebody, was, somebody else was watching that shit. I ain't up on it though. I I saw it and I was like, damn, I should look at it, but I was like, fuck it, I ain't never looking at this shit. Bro, I'm watching because I'm just holding off on Dexter, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried for Dexter to end yet, so I'm trying yeah. to throw some shit, other shit in there before I end up killing Dexter because Dexter almost dead. Oh, that's the end of it? I mean, in season, I'm on season eight. Oh, okay. and That's the last one, you know? I ain't up on that shit either. Oh, man, you gotta get up on it, bro. Yeah, I'm fooling. I, guess I, killer, I ain't up on enough shit. Serial killer that kills serial killers. Right. You up man. on that shit, Angry Man? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dexter? Dexter? Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta get up on Dexter, bro. Yeah. He'll watch TV. He'll watch TV. That's what I normally watch. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Yeah. yeah. Dexter's the shit, bro. You gotta check it out, though, bro. Yeah. Real life, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hold that off, so I've been watching that shit. So, yeah. I mean, that's basically what I've been doing. You know what I mean? Going to Alter Carmen, I heard about that shit. Y'all niggas ain't watched uh, Seven Seconds yet? The other no, shit? No, no. I ain't watched that shit yet either. So, yeah. I was gonna say, so don't say nothing about it. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> Cause I ain't watched that, that, that shit. Is that with old girl? Uh, Regina King. Regina King. Yeah, yeah. Regina King. Yeah, I watched that. Um, oh, low key though, low key. I actually want to see a little Gabrielle Union movie. You know what I'm saying? Gabrielle Union. Yeah, she got a nice little flick. I seen the fucking. Uh, it's a real movie. Or yeah, a real, real movie. movie. Oh, okay, real movie. It's a real. Movie. <laughs> and she got like she like she's like a mother, 
And you know what I'm saying? Two kids, single. What the fuck is the oath? Anyway, go ahead. I don't know what the oath is. Me neither. But she, uh, like a mother, you know what I'm saying? And her father passed. She really didn't fuck with her pops like that. Okay. Like, he got this big ass house that he, you know, selling and shit. And he got. A friend? Yeah, it's like. Then they, nigga, it's almost like. Uh, uh, trespass. Oh, okay. It's almost like Can't that. When motherfucker got money in the house, she got shit in the house and shit. Yeah. And niggas know about it. She didn't really know about it. Okay. So they tried to come get in the house and get the shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But she and that, they took her kids hostage and she just went go ham. Oh, yeah. I ain't up on that yeah, shit. I'm about to yeah. check that shit out. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm yeah, check, that check that shit out. out. This shit kind of that fly. Shit, that shit kind of fly. Grab your union got me excited about some shit. She yeah. not, her movies don't ever excite me. Yeah, because she's not really a yeah, she really like, exciting she, person. I mean, she's cool, but she, I don't ever, never really think Gabrielle had, like, the main star role. Yeah. yeah. Like, she was cool in Bad Boys, too. Like, she was sad, you know. You know, you, you're not just her. Yeah. yeah. You know, even in, uh, what's the shit with LL Cool J? Uh, but Deliver now she was supposed to be the she was supposed to be the star though, right? Yeah, Deliverance for Evil. Yeah, she was, so. she was, yeah. So it, it didn't work for you. It was no. too many I'm in there. Too many I'm in there. That shit was equal. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, damn. What else has she other than being Mary Jane? That's a TV show though. Uh, Cradle to the Grave. Yeah, she was in that. She's in crazy. Steve Zagal and yeah. DMX. Gary was in that shit. Yeah. Nah, see how bad the performance yeah. was? I don't even remember. She bro. was fight. She had a nice fight scene, too. <laughs> she had a fight scene. And the only chick I remember, chick I remember in any of the films like that was Aaliyah. Aaliyah, <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah. After that? After yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Uh, hell no, nah, damn. I'm tripping, dog. If y'all knew that, if y'all watching right now, y'all knew that, man. Nah, well, y'all should tell me. That was Steve Zagal? That was Steve Zagal. Nah, was it? I don't know. Crazy to the Grave? That was Aaliyah, man. Right, that was a lead in that. When you talking about with uh, Gabrielle Union, it was DMX. Steve Seagal. No. It was, Jet uh, Lee. No. It was one of them niggas, man. <laughs> no, it was not. Sorry, yes, it was, boss, bro, because she had a fight scene in it, bro. Well, let me finish the cast, and you'll know what I'm talking about, because you've seen the movie, obviously. Credit to the grade. That was, that was a lead. No, it was DMX. Motherfucking uh, uh, Anthony Anderson. Yeah, he never uh, did next movie. Uh, who else? Was right, so did? it's hard to tell because all of them is the same movies. Drag on. He's in all his movies. Uh, okay. And the white guy, that was the one with Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle, yeah. When they was selling the dope inside the t shirts and shit. Yeah. Nah, and, man. That's yeah, Michael and, J. White. Was and, and, yeah, Anthony, and Anthony Anderson had that you, big you, ass yellow Hummer and I shit. I understand what you're yeah. saying. Right. Combining the movies. Ain't that, ain't that, that a confusing? Dude? And then no. Anthony Anderson had that Man, big ass yellow hair. What is that? You confusing? You, you combining the movies? I do it all the time. No, 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 that, no, no. That's that one. That's that and, one. Anthony, Anthony Anderson, Anderson went. Like Anthony Anderson went to go check Aaliyah and shit. Yeah. With the one with with Jet Li. Yeah. But uh, the other one is when he had the yellow Hummer. Yeah, yeah. It could be. Yeah, he was, was a dope boy and shit. Yeah, she was the motherfucker in the movie. It wasn't Gabrielle you was in this? I do yeah. not remember. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody watching was, right now. Was Anthony Anderson in both of them? Oh, yeah, he was in both of them. He was in both of them. He was in both of them, right. So I'm right. Yeah, he was in both of them. No, anybody watching right now, man, man. tell us what the fuck that movie was. But Gabrielle Union in, in, in one of these fucking DMX movies. Cradle to the Grave, because I think Aaliyah was in Romeo Must Die. Romeo, Romeo Must, Must Die, Die was Aaliyah. Aaliyah. That you're was right, Aaliyah. You're right. Okay. That was Aaliyah. So it probably was uh, Cradle to the Grave. You're probably right. Like I said, niggas. <laughs> hey, look, I'm getting confused as hell because all the niggas are the same motherfucking shit, though. Hey, hey where everybody at, though, man? Out there. Help us out, man. Well, what, Get this shit right. Well, right. Where, where everybody at, though? You know what I'm saying? It's fucking taco night again and shit. <laughs> Y'all understand these <laughs> niggas? Taco you night. taco nights every Thursday now, cuz? <laughs> hey, where these niggas at? Yo, we got to share this motherfucker, too. I ain't, did I share it to you? No. Nope. I ain't share it to you. Nope. I'm going to share it real quick. Gigabyte's doing his thing, man. I'm pretty sure it might be uh, Two if it ain't taco night. What is it going to be? Meat low? Yeah, Meat low wins? Oh, it's Thursday. Thursday yeah. <laughs> what, what go with tea? Uh... Tamale Thursday? Yeah. yeah tamale we, Thursday. Right, we probably had tacos last week, so we probably don't have. I actually got tacos tonight, though, so I'm uh, I'm excited. Though. Shit, we about to get sushi. Sushi? Who about to get sushi? We about to get sushi. Oh, for real? I won't, I'd rather have tacos. <laughs> Shit, we about to get sushi delivered. What the fuck you hey, mean? Hey, Gigabyte said, fuck you, fuck. <laughs> fuck your taco eating ass, nigga. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, so if you hearing all that shit, that must mean the stream is going pretty well tonight. That's what's up. I think I fixed everything I was supposed to fix. All right, so look, before we get into the for real topic, man. We talked about, you know, what you've been doing and shit. What, I ain't really been doing shit. Um, had a dope-ass interview and shit, though, uh, oh, last yeah, Saturday. Did, 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 did. Uh, shout out to my man, D. Coney. Uh, if you didn't see the interview, make sure you go to eblockradio.com after the show. Check out the interview with D. Uh, with D. Coney, man. And also, if you need an interview, hit us up, man. Hit me in the inbox or send me an email at eblockradio at gmail.com because yeah. we're doing interviews out here. You feel me? 
But uh, check that interview out. It's dope. And the dude, Art, is dope as hell, too, man. So make sure dope as shit. D. Coney is the, is the last interview we did, all right? Check that out. Um, aside from that, though, before we get off into the, uh, I was about to call that nigga the Unabomber. <laughs> before we get off into the bomber, though, <coughs> dog, if you in the Detroit or, like, the southeast Michigan area, what the fuck is going on? With all of these kids pranking these fucking schools, Ooh, yeah. like they go shoot that yeah, bitch. There's so many crazy. schools that was closed today because of that shit, dog. Don't they know this shit ain't no joke, bro? Like, evidently, bro, they don't bro, know. Bro, they don't know because back in the day, shit, we pulled the fucking fire hydrant. Fire right. And try to get the fuck so out of there. The fire right, extinguisher. The fire alarm. You know what I'm talking about. That nigga said the fire extinguisher. Whatever. We, tried, we pulled that motherfucker. Because if you broke that, the shit was going off too. You know right, what I'm yeah, saying? Right, yeah, the shit was going off. So, I mean, we used to but do that shit. shit just to try to get a day off. You know what I'm saying? Finals time and shit. These niggas talking about shoot. They giving these niggas time, bro, and y'all deserve it. You y'all, stupid they giving, ass Yeah, they giving man. time for these threats, man. That's a real threat, bro. Like, I, I ain't doing that threat. shit at all. Because you got to think, what if you're a parent at school and you get the text message or the email or, or even the phone call? Yeah. Your kid's school was uh, under a, te- uh, a bomb threat. Right, exactly. You know, Shoot. Some parents might jet out that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They're and these, these niggas day. trying to, you know, trying to get a day off of school or something, they don't understand the consequences of this shit, though. Mm-hmm. This happened, shit real. What happened the old fashioned just skip? Yeah. Right. What the fuck happened <laughs> to that shit? Just don't go to that motherfucker. Right, just don't go to that bitch, man. Yo, this shit is crazy, though, because, like, you can't, you can't blow it off, though. No. You know, like, you can't even blow that shit off because the shit might be for real. You might just be never for real. know. And even in uh, even though it don't seem likely, <laughs> you know, in a, in our district, but it's still like you don't want to be the one who be like, oh, nigga, that ain't shit, and then everybody dying that bitch. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. And but uh, shit, I had a homeboy. This shit called the bomb threat into the school. You know what I'm saying? Damn, crazy for real? fuck, crazy, crazy ass motherfucker. Said. But that's when we had phone booths. So. <laughs> <laughs> he got him anonymous. Yeah, yeah, he was anonymous in the mama. He just dumbass didn't get caught for the shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell now you no. got these motherfucking smartphones. Y'all better start thinking about these smartphones. They right. smarter than the motherfucker. They, they smart. got IP on every fucking Stupid thing. They know people. where you calling from, whose phone it is. The last time Come you on, sent youngest. a motherfucking text message to your homie and shit, everything. Everything is a big circle. We already did this shit already, so this shit ain't nothing new. But y'all, this new shooting up shit though. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's just crazy. Yeah, they plan to motherfucking plan to yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? It, it goes back to what I said, man. Sometimes I motherfucking punishment needs to meet the crime. Yes. Yeah. Man, how, how do you get you back on that shit? Yeah. But how do you get motherfuckers to stop shit? Yeah. I, some because these niggas don't think it's real. Like yeah. a bomb threat and motherfuckers that, that threats to shooting up the school. That shit ain't funny, bro. That shit was funny to you. Yeah, nope. not at all. Shit, not that at all. That shit crazy, bro. These little niggas need to chill out with that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? And stop I mean, and think shit, about what you know, doing. Throwing rocks at Chrysler trucks up comments back in the day. That was funny. Yeah, we yeah we did that. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah we did that. But <laughs> bomb, th- no, that's not funny. Bro. No, that shit ain't funny at all, man. I don't even understand. And then, like like I said, you got parents who, like you said, wherever they at, they about to bust up and, and, and go see what's good. Yeah, nigga, yeah. like, you don't want to put nobody in that kind of situation, dog. You know, know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the way I look at it, though. That's these little shit, kids, everybody should look at it, shit. These little kids, man, they super tripping. Like, I, I really don't get it. I don't know. Like like you said, maybe it's because they don't feel like they're going to get no kind of punishment or something. I don't know, dog. But that shit is out of control, though. you know though. what? It's going to be that uh, it's gonna be that motherfucking line. Because let's say these kids get caught. I'm yeah. just going to put it out here. Okay. Like, just to show. Let's say it's some, uh, some young black yeah. kids that did it. Right. And they throw these motherfuckers life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. <laughs> they just gonna have to serve as an example. Huh? How many motherfucking black people gonna stand up and protest? That's too much time for middle school kids. Shit, I ain't because the motherfuckers ought to know better. But you and, and, and they need to fuck that way. But how many motherfuckers gonna say? That's too much. And they need to throw the motherfucking parents. They can say too. that shit too. They said that shit already because that's why. These motherfucking parents can't whoop their kids no more. They supposedly can't because fuck what y'all talking about. Right, you gonna put me in jail? I'm gonna whoop his ass. You gonna put me in jail for that? Yeah, just fuck it. Put me right, in jail. Because I'm gonna whoop his put ass. Put me in jail. Really? Throw away the kid. Throw away the kid. <laughs> Straight up, because uh, I'm whooping mine. You know what I mean? Like, you get out of line, no, you get shook in the shit. fuck up. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. Like, these kids nowadays, like, like every man said, they need to start 
getting their ass. We had stitcher cores. You know what I mean? Niggas was, niggas was getting their ass beat. We was getting our real. ass beat. Like, yeah. I was a product of getting my ass beat. Like, my brothers before me, I used, to, I used to get mad because they didn't get their ass beat as much as I did. You <laughs> know like what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, the, I'm the oldest. Yeah, yeah, I was you was an example. example. You and then my little, brother, my little brother say that shit. Like, shit, I watch you do dumb shit. I knew how to fucking maneuver around that shit right. you just did because I just saw what you did and you got your ass with for that. I ain't trying to get that. So, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? I had to change my little, little program up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit. These kids need to get their ass whooped, bro. And and, and and child abuse is child abuse. You know child abuse. Right. You know child abuse. Right. And some of us got it. <laughs> and some of us got it. <laughs> no, I was going to say, our era, think about it. Our era is the perfect example of yeah. what child, child abuse was. Yeah. We know, what that, we know the difference between child abuse and a good old-fashioned for ass sure. whooping. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying, man? And I don't understand how y'all can take that out of a place where a city is in the Top three, four, five, a crime every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gonna take the discipline out of the home, yeah. right? And, then, and, the, and the schools though. And the school. and, and, and Remember then, the teachers of the parents. Hell yeah, kick out of school. Yeah. 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 Make us think. And then you get mad when we call it a conspiracy. Like y'all right. motherfuckers plotting on us. How can you say that? Well, you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> goddamn. How can right. you do this and control that and satisfy you at the same goddamn time? Yeah. It's not gonna fucking happen. No, it's never gonna happen, dog. And. I don't know what needs to be done, but but something that definitely has to be done because this shit ain't that shit ain't no joke. That's no, a serious, serious, serious motherfucking offense, especially with what's going on. You know what I'm saying in the world today. You can't calling in a motherfucking prank like that, dog. And and even to even to think that that's a prank, like like who the fuck would even think that though? Like I. Like you said, we did some dumb shit. We back did in some. The day. Everybody did, Pulling bro. Pulling fire alarms and shit yeah, like that. Everybody did some dumb shit, bro. But not no shit like this. Though. And we knew the consequences, so we we try extra to not get fucking caught. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these right, motherfuckers nowadays, bro, they don't give a fuck. I wrote a letter, like I wrote a letter <laughs> and said I did this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all kids these days, bro? Like, y'all got that shit all fucked up. Yeah, Nobody no. writing no letters and shit. The blue clues. <laughs> yeah, blues, blues clues in the ride as well. <laughs> yeah. Yo, hey. Venus, Venus, what up, though? Venus just said, what up? What up, though? What's good with you? Uh, no, so right now, we're just talking about this uh, abundance of, of kids calling in and uh, doing, like, bomb threats and shit for them schools, like, today. Like, a whole lot of schools was closed. I know Oak Park shut their whole shit down. Yes. Like, yeah. high school, yeah. middle school, yeah. all that shit. Them two and I have trying to. Have trying to, too? Yeah. Dog, that is crazy, though. And I understand, because, like I said, at the end of the day, you might be looking at it like, dog, that... Ain't shit like that go happen in, in some of these places. But then you'd be like, dog, I don't want to be the one to make that call. And then yeah. shit happen. And then we all fucked up. Oh, so my kids fucked all up. fucked up. Right. So, I don't know. You niggas stop. That's all I can say, dog. You yeah. niggas stop. Well, yeah, they're going to figure it out because they booking y'all little dumbasses for this shit, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, y'all getting booked for that shit. So, you want to get booked for call, for calling <laughs> some bullshit ass shot? That's right. what you going to get booked for, you idiot? That shit is not that serious, It's not man. that serious, cuz, like, for real, man. Hell no. All right, so we're going to move away from that, dog. Uh, anything anything else going on before we jump into the frail topic? Uh, no. What else going on, dog? There's got to be some other shit going on. Uh, let me see. No, that's really about it. It's probably some more shit, but... Dog, did you see... Uh, <laughs> we just be randomly talking about shit, you know what I'm saying? Jew, what up, dog, homie? What's shit, up, Juju? He blocking the building. Um... Yeah, you saw this lady, this grandma and shit, was trying to unload a motherfucking AK and then they shot her grandkids. Y'all yeah, see that shit? shit? No, yeah. no, so, so she filed a motherfucking AK under the bed like she was going to try to uh, try to unload, you know, unload it and shit mm -hmm. and, and, you know, make put it away safely. But in the midst of pulling the motherfucking clip out of some shit, the motherfucker shot through the floor twice. Then yeah. shot one of the uh, kids in the first floor. Uh, no, nah, did, it, did it hit her? No, I think it grazed her or some shit in the leg, and damn, they killed the other one in the basement. Damn. The motherfucker shot through two floors with that motherfucker. Mm. Scared the shit out of that girl, out that old lady. Yeah, shit. yeah. We thought she had killed her grandkids. Scared the shit out of anybody. <laughs> right, that motherfucker shoot from upstairs, bullets coming through, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Come on, next time, just call somebody. Right. <laughs> right, or just don't touch that motherfucker, man. Get your nephew over there and some shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga who always shoot choppers, yeah. he know how to unload it. The nigga that the, the choppers the is. Goes. Right, obviously it's somebody, so yeah. yeah call, call, call somebody next time, man. He said call somebody. Just keep the kids out of that room. Right. Until you get that situation fixed. For sure, man. Yo, if y'all check us out right now, man, make sure y'all share this live stream so we get some more people to chime in. We getting ready to get into our for real topic in just a moment, though. Um, we about to talk about uh, the Austin bomber. Um, what else? What else happened? Is there something else I want to talk about before we get into that? Cause it is already uh, it's already thirty minutes in. So 
We can jump to it if you want to. Whatever. All right, so look, if you check us out right now, man, hit me in the uh, in the comment box if you want to comment, or you can call in at 760-283-4647 because we got the phone lines working now. But uh, we want to talk about the Austin Bomber, dog. This the, uh, hold on, what? Byron Allen bought the Weather Channel for $300 million. Damn, for real? Byron, Byron, Byron Allen, Allen from uh from the Southwest and shit. Did you know that? No. Yeah, that nigga from I believe that's the uh, yeah the the talk show nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He, he from Southwest. Detroit. Yeah, that nigga from Southwest. Yeah. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. He bought him three hundred million. Damn, Damn who got three hundred million? That nigga making moves though. Shit. Like, yeah, that nigga making moves. He he low key produced so much shit that niggas don't even be thinking about. I be wanting to shadow these niggas for a day or two. <laughs> for what they do a though. week or something, bro. Like I need to know, bro. I'm trying to. Not, I don't even want to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. For sure. Cause right now I'm uncomfortable than a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <They're uncomfortable laughs> Real tough. Hell no. I want to be comfortable, bro. I don't want to have to worry about the, the first coming, goddamn it. The first is coming. Right. That shit like Godzilla. Shit. Shit. The first like Godzilla. Like, Gaiaka, Gaiaka. <laughs> the first is coming. Hell like, no. Bitch, you better get on your P's and Q's. For yeah, this. that's what's up, though. Shit. Shout out to my man Byron. Yeah, that's what's up, Byron. Right all right, so let's jump on into that motherfucker, man. We're talking about the, the Austin bomber and shit. If you're not familiar with what's going on, uh, for about, I think it was 19 days, uh, he was he was sending bombs to various places and shit. Uh, I, think, I think it was about 19 days. So, niggas, it was like a high terror alert and shit. Like, what was he sending to, like, businesses? I don't know. Like, people. He was sending them to people. Regular like, people? Regular people. Like, and the shit was getting there and blowing up. Like, I think one of them and shit he sent, Ended up like it detonated too early or something like blew up at the FedEx and shit. But he sent that bitch, he sent them bitches through the FedEx. So they trying to figure out like what was what was his intent? Like why was he targeting these people? Now, uh, granted, I think one of the people that got killed was white, right? But I think that was the accident. I think that was the person that FedEx they wasn't supposed to blow up on them. But the people he was sending it to was like Latino and black people. So I started feeling like you know what I'm saying it was some kind of some kind of racial attack. I think that's terrorism. So we want to know. Why the fuck is they not calling him a terrorist? Why is he called a serial bomber? That's what we want to know. Because he's just killing black people and Mexicans. <laughs> that's I mean, that's the bottom that's line. That's the bottom line, bro. All right, hey, hey that was a great show, man. Right, thank y'all for coming out. Appreciate you. Good night. God bless you. Good night. All right. No, but anybody, anybody familiar with the story, man, hit us in the uh, comment box. Let us know what you think. Or give us a call, 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. And, and of course he said uh, he he white he, he, he not gonna be, be called a terrorist right. and, and that's what it is. But like the thing is now now uh, from what I understand they filed some kind of recorded confession, right? So that means he uh, that means that he set out to do this. He got a I guess he had like a list of people he wanted to target or whatever. If that don't sound like a terrorist. What the fuck, fuck do that sound that's like? Terrorist I mean, like a motherfucker. He recorded a confession already. That's, that sounds exactly like a man, terrorist. Man, that's terrorist one on one. What the fuck? <laughs> that nigga said terrorist one on one. That's terrorist one on one all day, every day. No, like, I swear to God. And they don't want to call it that, but that Dude. and that shit baffles me. Like, why? Sure. He's definitely a terrorist, bro. Yeah, I think you know so. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's definitely. He might as well, because he ain't got a towel over his head. <laughs> he That's got bullshit. a towel. You know he going to hell for saying I'm that, I'm right? sorry, but yeah. that, I didn't mean no disrespect. Yeah. And that's why. We didn't do that shit. And that's why these motherfuckers so mad at us. That's why these motherfuckers so mad. That's why they That's why they so mad at us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because mind your own business. Jew said, Jew said people need to read what a terrorist means in the dictionary. It's shocking. Hey, post that shit. Yeah, if you if you got it right now, copy and paste that shit right quick. Yeah. We're going to read that shit live online. Armani says a homegrown terrorist. That's exactly what it is. What's right. up? What was you about to say, Aaron? I said all day, man. Yeah. All but, day. I mean, so, like, at this point, though, I wonder why. <laughs> I'm going I'm to ask this question. I already know more about to get pissed and shit. But I want to know, why the perm ain't saying nothing about that? <laughs> You feel me? And hey, shouldn't hey, he be out here saying something about that? Nobody really knew that he was targeting black and Mexican people. Yeah. Though, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I didn't know until you just said the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for the nigga with the perm yeah. that's taking selfies and shit, like, nigga, <laughs> where you selfies. at? Where you at? Oh, shit, yeah. What well, Venus just said right there, too, though. You you seen that shit, dog? What's that? Kid in uh, Sacramento, I think. Mm-hmm. Police shot that nigga like 20 times, bro. He had his phone and shit. I guess they thought he had a gun or some shit. Shot the nigga like twenty times in his own backyard though. Damn. I about that. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not for sure what he happened though. In his own backyard. Yeah, yeah, twenty motherfucking times. Twenty times. You can't tell. I don't know. Maybe they is 
just scared. I mean, I don't know. damn, 20 times, how many shots they had to fire? How many? He had to be on the ground on some of them shots. <laughs> right. He had to be on the ground on some of them shots, yeah. bro. Because shit. Thought he had that little motherfucking iPhone 12 and shit with the gun in that bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's up. Definitely too soon. Yeah, way too soon. Yeah, yeah, way too soon. Sorry. Yeah, that ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> but then that's fucked up, bro. 20 no, yeah. times he had to be on the ground on some of them shots, bro. Like, y'all got to think about that shit. Two or three shots, boom, nigga hitting the ground. So he gets shot twenty times, all right. But the but the uh, I keep want to call this motherfucking Unabomber. But uh, the bomber, the serial bomber, terrorist motherfucker, right? Ended up blowing himself up though. So you, is it is it because it, he had a bomb? Cause like why they didn't just shoot that nigga from a distance? Yeah. Like I, why not just shoot him from a distance? What? They, they was gonna handcuff his ass. Huh? They know. They was gonna handcuff him. They see know. what he wanted to eat. Yeah, yeah some chicken is pop. Every option possible. Yeah. No. They abide by the law. They abide by the law. And then, and then the the, the yeah. headlines say, well, "Straight to the books on that." Yeah, straight yeah, to the books. Yeah, like, yeah, they abide by the law. Then the know. headlines is like, uh, um, he was a, a a misunderstood kid who who parents couldn't understand how he could be a, a master bomb maker and shit. Now he uh, now he homeschooled and shit. So they saying like, well, he was homeschooled and got like all this best treatment and shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Why is it? I mean, I already know why. So but how did he become racist? Tell me that. Because he's... Because... <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, obviously right. he's fucking racist. Yeah. TV. Yeah. You put him in front of the computer all day. His parents. His parents. His parents. His huh? parents. <laughs> and it's TV <laughs> shit. <laughs> His motherfucking mom and daddy. You, you, with your upbringing come through, that's how you gonna live. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fucking niggas. Yeah. Fucking niggas. You feel me? Yo, uh, Ebony Sexton just pot, uh, just checked in. What up, Ebony? What up, though, Ebony? Uh, that nigga Gigabyte say, hear about the cop that ground pounded. The, ooh, I don't even want to read that out loud. What happened? Say who? Ground pounded the twelve year old girl. What? In the classroom. That re again? You like that's the same shit. shit. Oh, it's the same shit. I think unless he talking about something. I don't new. know if he talking about. Hey, but you have to understand what, what he be saying, though, because he be using terms that I'm not sure about. Like so ground pound can mean something, something else. totally different. And so I'm not sure. I'm going to need you to explain yourself, because... Right. <laughs> Every say we all know why he not called a terrorist. Yeah, we do know. <laughs> well, well, yeah, we all know. You know what I mean? I mean... We just, we just don't want it to be that way, though. Yeah. So how do, and so how do we say something about that without sounding overly sensitive? Man, fuck that, bro. They, these motherfuckers... Stop acting surprised. Stop acting like that shit is old. He did Really did that? Yeah. How long have they been doing that? Man, yeah. ain't nothing new. These motherfuckers ain't surprised. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They abide by the law and what they kind and they're not terrorists. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me and you would have been motherfucking bombing some like shit up. Yeah. We been a right. terrorist. Nigga, like yeah. Ed Lover and fucking Dr. J <laughs> going up shit. <laughs> Who's the man? Who's the man? Hey, fuck you, nigga. Why am I laughing at that? Oh yeah, I'm laughing at that shit. Yeah. They're gonna go to six pages. Page two, nigga. Yeah. Oh, no. He did this. He kill that motherfucker. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, now nah, he, he said this shit happened at a restaurant. I ain't sure on that, dog. No, I ain't uh, somebody got put me up on game, dog. So you can call in and talk about it if you want to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven. That phone number is right down at the bottom down yeah, there. Yeah. Call. Uh, talk let me see. We, we got. We are we on? <laughs> Say host disconnected. <laughs> we're not on. Well, yeah, yeah, so maybe you can't call. So let's try it. I, I, uh, I'll call it in right quick and see if uh, we can get the lines working. Let's see if it's going to work. <laughs> but yeah, that shit crazy, though, man. These niggas, these kids out here, like, like angry man say, bro, they need more oh, discipline. Oh, we got action. With more discipline, bro. Yeah, they need more discipline, dog. But I, so this this dude, like I said, was homeschooled or whatever, so they they trying to say he had the, the best of everything. This is what this shit saying. Like, they, they can't understand how it happened and all that shit, of course. Since it appears you're you know calling back into a live show, but, uh, we are reconnecting you now. There we go. All right, we got the phone lines hot again. All right, we back in there. So you actually can call now, 760-283-4647. Go ahead, dog. Press that number one key. I mean, you know, we, you know, I just thought about something. Yeah. I just thought about something. What you thought about, cuz? We keep saying we need more discipline in the home. More discipline in the home. Yeah. I don't think that's the problem. The discipline is there. Yeah. You need more law restrictions to say I can discipline this motherfucker. Yeah. Sure that. Because a lot of us, I know, at least me and him, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> right. Gonna you, you go to school, you, you a bomb, nigga? What the fuck? 
What is that ticket, little nigga? Giving you allowance to save up for this bullshit. <laughs> you in the back room making bombs, nigga. No, no. You couldn't right. be one of us. Right, no, you're 12, nigga. You're supposed to be in the back room beating your dick or something, nigga. Why are you making a bomb? I mean, if that's good. what you do, huh? You know, sneaking out the back window, <laughs> turning, taking that motherfucker. Right, you know what I'm saying? You got bone queasy under the bed, whatever, nigga. But my thing is, dog, like I said, uh, the discipline in, in the black community and the homes are there. Yeah. But the reason why it's, it's looking like it's not there yeah. because of the laws. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the truth. I mean, so I, he, but when you say it like that, it makes it seem like, shit, you can't do shit about it. Kane, what the fuck <laughs> have we mean? ever been able to do so, brother? Hey, the nigga with the perm. When will we ever overcome? <laughs> all right, all right. The nigga in the perm chilling. The nigga, with, the nigga that perm. with the perm. Yeah, that nigga over there chilling, getting fat. Couldn't do shit back then, couldn't do shit now. No yeah. telling if we, all we can do is control what the fuck we can control. True that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, could you say they want martial law? Shit, no, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Well, they might, though. They I don't might know. work in our favor. Stay Hell the fuck yeah. Out yeah, stay the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. straight. We straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you probably, but they'll never pinpoint where the actual problem is. No, because no. you, you'll see it like, oh, the motherfuckers ain't doing shit over there. Yeah, no, we straight. Right. Uh, we watch our own kids. <laughs> no, we good. Own shit. You know right. What I'm we good. Hell nah. I mean, damn, I think we got a, uh, oh shit, we got a caller, cuz. Oh shit. We got a caller. We gonna take the caller right now? Take it. Might as well, yo, if you check us out right now on eblockradio.com or on Facebook Live, man, hit us in the comment box to comment on the Austin serial bomber or why is he not a terrorist. You can give us a call, 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key, man. We're going to the phone lines right this moment. I got 313-556. You on live straight from the eblock. I'll let your boy. What up, though? Hey, what up, my guy? What up, what up though? though? So, hey, motherfucker. Taco Night is a good, important motherfucking night. Motherfucker. So goddamn bonding with the family. So fuck you, nigga, okay? Damn! Show <laughs> 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 Taco eating ass. That nigga ain't bonding with the family. This nigga eating the motherfucking tip pack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> taco ass eating ass. Swallow. <laughs> you don't even chew them bitches. <laughs> what? <laughs> Swallow whole taco shells. Like God damn, the hard shell? The hard thing? shell, like a fucking pelican. <laughs> Okay. That nigga said Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, dog. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. No, no, but what I was talking about in the comments, nigga, uh, 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 some cop, nigga, at a restaurant, this nigga got drunk. He must have been drunk or something. A little girl playing with a, a puppy or something. And my man just got up and grounded and pounded the, the little girl. Nigga, I mean, Damn, I'm talking about UFC ground pounding. Yeah. Damn, for, for what, though? The little girl. She was, she was too loud for him and shit? Nobody knows. He just flipped. No, he just flipped the fuck out on the little girl and started beating the shit out of her. <laughs> in his <laughs> uniform? Rage. He was uniform cop? Uh, he was a uniform cop? Yeah, he was off duty, but he was a police officer. He was off duty, though. Oh, he was yeah. sitting with his family. Nigga inebriated. Fucked around. The little girl was playing with her dog. Her dog came over there. His daughter started playing with the dog. The dog went back to the girl they owned. And the guy, the cop got up and just ground pounded the little girl. I mean, beat the shit out of her. Dog, that's God. fucked up, yeah, nigga. Yeah, dog, dog, so you mean to tell me that don't nobody know that there's something wrong with these motherfucking police officers? Come on, bro. <laughs> These niggas do not oh. get evaluated, bro, like they supposed no, no, to, bro. He's not a cop. They, they, he slipped through the cracks from a motherfucker yeah. coming from Iraq. That's all that is. Right. All these motherfuckers slipped through the crack, man. Right. It's a big ass crack. <laughs> hey, wide, wide, wide ass crack. Hey, that motherfucker was like, "Incoming!" <laughs> 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 That motherfucker saw the dog and went straight back to Iraq, nigga. Yeah, oh, yeah. for real, word. Hey, but I need to tell you that part of the story, nigga. The little girl's daddy was there at the restaurant. He beat the dog shit out that motherfucking cop. Shit, he better shit. have. Better have. Hell yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? He put, but that shit, that shit crazy. And he, and he better, better not get no charges either. That motherfucker ain't that farmer ain't. You all know what that bomber ain't called no damn terrorist, nigga. Yeah, we know. Michael Xavier was a terrorist. Hell you yeah. Know what yeah. No, that shit, that shit is stupid, though, but... That everything that he's done is characteristics of a terrorist. Like, there's no way you should be calling a nigga a serial bomber. They patriotic, right. Nigga. Right. Anybody, the definition of it, anybody that tries to systematically control people through terror yeah. is a terrorist. 
That's right. the that's the weapon definition of it. Yeah, yeah. Controlling people through terror. He made niggas not want to go check their mailbox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. Hey, hey, niggas, shit. Around this time of month, I don't want to check my shit anyway because I ain't never motherfucking bills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you uncomfortable to the motherfucker too. Them niggas are terrorists, nigga. Them niggas are terrorists. Right, yeah, them, them niggas are terrorists. <laughs> VTE, you a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio just checked in. He said, talk about the United States being a corporation that should be the source of the most, to most results we see in this world based on new world order. Now, well, I mean, that's the, that's the case. That's why you got Donald Trump uh, congratulating Putin and shit for yeah. winning a, the presidency yeah. again and shit. Like, that's the homie, though. I don't know why he's trying to avoid acting like they ain't the homie or something. But, Putin. yeah, but look, Putin. how real is that, though? Do we, That's the pure definition of white privilege when you can be the president and and they accuse you of being in, in cahoots with the motherfucking president of russia you tell them no and continue to fuck around with him though. yes continue Blatantly. to fuck around like fuck y'all Blatantly. nigga he ain't had shit to do with it but that's my man's though what y'all gonna do about it man had obama did that shit oh they the cruise we've been impeached today oh, they impeached that nigga he, he in there, they, they in there right now trying to prove that Russia has something to do with this motherfucking election, and he don't give a fuck. Yes. Nigga, that's white that. privilege, nigga. <laughs> that's white that. privilege, bro. He did that. For real, dog. That's, that's some crazy shit. That nigga said he did that. He did that. <laughs> he got a thing for a motherfucker like Trump. Even if we put him out, he still gonna want to walk around and shit like, I was the president. <laughs> <laughs> he don't give a fuck, right? He don't give a, don't give a fuck, fuck yeah. So you motherfuckers elected me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna do nothing about it now. No. He didn't do nothing about it then. He ain't doing shit about it now. And it's still, I, I know I should be over that shit by now, but it's still, it's still funny that that nigga got a, elected, dog. Yeah. I, it's still weird. Yeah. I still can't really believe that shit happened. I bet you, I bet you, that motherfucking Unabomber. I bet you his parents <laughs> voted for Trump. For Trump. <laughs> I bet you his parents voted for Trump. I bet you he did. <laughs> he said he bet his I bet he did. And they wonder why he fucked up. Right, or pay off a porn star and not get in peace. No, for real. A porn star. Blatantly. Blatantly, right. And, and, and there's hey, others. Hey, he the most gangster I ever seen in my yeah. life, bro. He that's that's gangster as fuck. I thought, I thought motherfucker, uh, I thought Bush was, was gangster. No, he's he thug, like. thug life. He's like a thug life. He really don't give a fuck. He, he really don't, don't give a fuck, fuck. like for real. You, like I said, if you put me on so oh shit, I don't give a fuck. fuck. Yo, I that, was there. I did that. That shit is ill. He nigga, really don't give a fuck. I had the pinnacle, nigga. I had the pinnacle. <laughs> I ran this bitch. Right. Well, I literally ran this bitch. Right. In but the ground. Let me ask a question. Yeah. What is the real definition of impeachment? Uh, Like the real definition? Yeah, it's just a... What, what does it mean for a president to be impeached? You get taken out of office. Made that work. Yeah, it's getting taken out of office, but there's so many steps to impeachment, though. Yeah. Because you can be impeached and still be in office. Because so, theoretically or mean, technically, he, he's Bill Clinton got impeached. It doesn't mean to take you out of office. It no. It bring you up on charges. It bring you up on charges. Exactly, yeah. Which, which the impeachment can take your whole fucking term. Yeah. So you might get impeached and never actually get put out. Shit like this see, motherfucker what, getting impeached, though. So impeachment, see, that's what happened with, with Nixon. So impeachment ain't shit but a trial for the president. That's all you it see? is. Yeah, that's all it is. Because the uh, the Nixon got impeached, but like oh. instead of instead of getting like going through the whole shit, he just ended up resigning. Because right. he could have he could have did his whole term. Yeah. The impeachment shit would have never been over, mm -hmm. and like he just still set in office. Like like technically, Bill Clinton got, Bill Clinton impeached. got impeached. Yeah, he yeah. got impeached, but shit, he in that bitch too. Yeah, hell yeah. So no, they not gonna technically take the nigga out. But um, right, and, and I don't know what good that'll do at this point anyway though. Cause like you said, he didn't read that. Yeah, he like, read it's, like a, it's like a nigga who just got some new shit, just dogged that motherfucker, left him for the next nigga. Like shit, I don't need that shit. Well, no more. Right. 
that's how he yeah, hang me down that bitch. Thought in everything, like I'm just and we I don't even know why we talking about this cloud, but yeah. but all of these places where he got business ventures and shit are all connected politically, dog. And how the fuck is this possible, dog? Like he making he making business deals with the politics. Yeah. Like that's all he doing. Like He's Crazy, smarter man. than a motherfucker, y'all. He's a dumb. Yeah. He seemed like he, that nigga's smart as a motherfucker. He no, has to be. He ain't smart. He's just arrogant. No, he, <laughs> he has to be. don't give a fuck, nigga. And that's what it is. That's how you got to do to get this money shit. Man. Not to give a fuck about nothing man. or anything in your way, bro. Because he, he got a stronghold. I'm going to tell you how stronghold he got in the international shit, though. He ain't even got shit nowhere. Motherfuckers is licensing his name. Like, he ain't ever got to go to motherfucking Beijing and build a building. But they gonna pay him to put Trump on that motherfucker, dog. He making money hand over fist. And he don't give a fuck about him. No, man. Really just, uh, my thing is this. <coughs> Honestly, and this is just my opinion. Yeah. I don't think he no different than any other president. He just bold enough to put his shit out there and don't give a fuck. <laughs> he what what other motherfucking is. president didn't get over on motherfuckers yeah. all up to this point? Yeah. Yeah. Trump ain't the first motherfucking yeah. president to get over on motherfuckers. He's the, he the first one to do it so blatantly. Blatant, blatant, blatant. That's what I just said. Yeah. But you know, in our time, we seen them bushes jump over that shit. Oh, like, yeah. nigga, we, nigga, we, in a minute, nigga, you, nigga. Right. right. We just like the fucking, uh, what was the, what was the vice president who shot his man and shit hunting? What's the nigga? Uh, uh, the fucking vice president. God damn, what's that nigga name, dog? Oh, <laughs> hey, somebody watch it right now, man. Bush, Bush. Uh, right, Gigabytes. What was what was Bush vice president name, dog? The motherfucker who shot his man and shit when they was hi- when they was hunting. Anyway, uh, somebody hit me in the comment box and tell me what his name was. I can't think of his fucking name. But anyway, that nigga, that nigga on, yeah, Cheney, Cheney, yeah, Chaney. yeah. So uh, Dick Cheney, yeah. So this nigga on. This nigga on all kind of oil shit though, right? So you you don't think that had nothing to do with them going over to Iraq? Get the fuck out Come of on, here, dog. Come it's on. like all this shit just so fucking Come crazy, on, bro. But at least uh, this is probably dumb as fuck to say, but at least they was trying to try to hide that shit. No, Trump don't, don't, try, don't give a fuck. Trump probably had more money than the Bushes, so he can afford to say fuck it. Yeah. You know, fuck my advisor. You can tell me I shouldn't say this. Evidently, he don't you give a fuck man. about what he advises. He probably don't <laughs> got one of them. Fuck your advisors, nigga. I ain't listening to you. I'm, saying, I'm not even reading that out loud. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not reading that shit out loud. No. Yes, it's giga bites, dog. I'm not no. reading that out loud. No. Uh, <laughs> Antonio said how they program this world, <laughs> such as television, being. Tell a vision. That's the truth, though. I mean, that's that's how everybody has always been programmed. Yeah. Uh, even before television, then it was uh, it was you know it was newspapers that kind of media Radio. because you, you you telling the story, you telling people what they what they want to hear, how they need to be doing things. Now, this Don't let alone the story. The story ain't got to be true. Not well, not at all. No. Not at all. Newspapers, what? media, and shit like that, dog. People don't really understand. The, the pool of the media. And just to put this in, in a perspective and shit, before we get all deep into that shit, because that ain't what we're talking about, but the way the media pull you in, dog, a prime example, dog, the newspapers and the radio stations allow motherfucking Germans in Germany to think that they need to kill every Jew motherfucker in their presence. Yeah. So that's to tell you how motherfucking powerful the media is. Yeah. They, the media convinced these motherfuckers that the Jewish people was going to be the downfall of their whole society and they needed to get rid of them by any means necessary. So you been tell me if, so if a newspaper and a radio is, is capable of doing that, you already know a motherfucking TV, a TV station, some video shit yes, is going to... What? Man, that shit crazy, dog. And anyway, I... I don't want to get into that shit no more. Yo, we got a we got a, a few minutes left though. Damn, it's already eight o'clock. We got a few minutes left though. Hit me in the comment box if you want to comment, or you can give us a call seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven. We want to know about the just your reaction about the Austin bomber and shit who uh who should be called a terrorist, but obviously not for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Say, <laughs> Giga might say was they lying about the Jews? Hey, look, I don't know. I'm not getting into that. I'm not being anti-Semitic t- this <laughs> evening. So I'm not touching that shit. No, just no. like I'm not touching, just like I'm not touching that last comment. You touched, you yeah, know? So literally, literally, <laughs> literally. Ah, wow, For real talk. Yo, get your ass back to the studio, man. Right, get your ass back to the tacos, like whatever the fuck you doing, man. Get, Pel- get off the pelican, off the pad. fucking pelican. I think say like <laughs> swallow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit, man. 
Yo, we got a few minutes left, dog. Hit me in the comment box, man. What y'all think, dog? What y'all think about the Austin Bomber? Hey, so, dude, how, how different you think it would have been, though, if he was black? Man, it would have been, he would have been a terrorist, for I one. Mean, because they call it, they, they call it Black Lives Matter uh, marchers a terrorist. So, yeah. yeah. Right. So so you definitely could have been a terrorist and this motherfucker killed shit. Yeah. Black Lives Matter, they ain't killed shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if he was black, he'd have been dead black now, man. Yeah, that's that's probably true. Well he is dead now. <laughs> right. Yeah, he, he did yeah, himself he, though. He man. did that, right. He did that himself. Right, for sure. And that, that shit just crazy. I wonder and, and and why I hate that I, I hate when people uh, for whatever reason you do shit, but I, I hate when people kill themselves before they get the chance to really get judged. Yeah. Like that, that's just fucked up. Like that Especially, and not just because it was some black people that got killed and shit, because anybody who would have got killed at that point, I don't really care. It's just that that nigga still need to be a terrorist. It ain't just because he killed black and brown people. It's because he killing people sending fucking mail bombs. Nigga, like, that shit's a terrorist. Nigga, I don't know what else you want to call that shit. That's just like, you don't call my man, what was that nigga named Terry Nichols and shit? That nigga's a terrorist. Yeah. He might have been from some farmland and shit, but the nigga's a terrorist. Somebody to know. Somebody to know? Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't know. Oh, angry man, you might have to grab yeah. <laughs> uh, What was I about to say, man? Hit me in the comment box right now. Give us your final thoughts on the Austin serial bomber, you know what I'm saying? Or you can give us a call, 760-283-4647. Hit that number one. Talk key. to us. We talk back. <laughs> saying niggas don't blow shit up. They um, don't. Hey, look, before uh, we going to switch gears real quick just because we on some bullshit right now, uh -huh. we're going to talk about something else. So I finally got a chance to see all that shit. With, uh, with, uh, what's that nigga name? DJ Envy and shit. Look, and, uh, Jesus and Moreau. Remember last week somebody had commented about that shit? About what happened when he, uh, he walked off and shit? Dog, so what happened was, uh, so, so the nigga was, uh, we was on the talk, like the rate, the, the talk show, the talk, or one of them motherfucking talk shows, I don't know. But, um, he was in there talking about his, uh, his wife and shit and how he had. You got some high folks in the field. You got some Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Nigga Lucius Washington yeah, just came Washington in. <laughs> what up, though? What's up, Lucius? No, so so he got mad because uh, they made a comment saying, because he was like, I was two different people, basically. He was like, I was DJ Envy in the street, and I was uh, I was Rashawn at home and shit. So she was like, well, I didn't know DJ Envy, you know what I'm saying? So them niggas just cracked the joke. They was like, but you knew uh, DJ Envy checks and shit, right? It was just like a little joke and shit. He got super offended, though, like, like, he was saying that his woman was only there for the money and shit. Like, this nigga went off, though. Like, and then left the interview and all that shit. But, so, I, I just want to ask this shit, just, just for that reason. If you in a, if you in the public's eye, and you on, on live TV talking about your relationship and when you cheated and all that shit, and somebody commented on it, how can you really be that mad? Yeah. Like, and you a person in media, so you knew you was going to see these niggas again at some point. How the fuck could you be that mad? Like, I... That shit was that shit was weak as hell to me, dog. That, that was some real light skin shit. I don't yeah. know what happened there. But uh, Luz, did you have something to say about this Austin Bomber, cuz? Austin Bomber. Yeah. <laughs> come, on, come on, you can get in the camera, cuz. We about we about to wrap it up in a minute anyway. Well, you know. <laughs> Honestly. You know. Oh, see so you got green though, they can't yeah. see you. I yeah, forgot. You know, this is you know, a blooper, a blooper, a blooper, a blooper, a blooper, right? <laughs> <laughs> they got green though. You can't even see him. I forgot all about this. That nigga is all right, I guess, I guess we not gonna take his opinion this time, then. Yeah, I'm fading off. <laughs> right, you fading off. I must have got bit by a vampire if I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I just peeped you out on all green. Ain't nobody gonna be able to see you and shit. Yo, it's about that time to get up out of here, though. We gonna go around the block one last time, though. If you got a last minute comment, man, hit me in the comment box or give me a. Here we go, dog. We gonna go around. Ooh, Angry man, what you say, dog? The Austin bomber. Why they not call him a terrorist, bro? Because he's white. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Period. It don't get all simpler than that. Yeah, I mean, who, why not? <laughs> right. Give me another reason. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Shit, I guess you're right. Lucius, what you say from over there? Shit. Oh, he, oh, he ain't got green on no more. Okay, okay. They can see you now. <laughs> well, well, half is froze. You're too tall for the moment. You know, green screen. <laughs> well, I think that you know that name he got. You know, he bombed out anyway. You know, the, the Austin bomber. You know, it's double standards. You know, back in my day, we took him out back and took that bomb and stuffed it right up, you know, where the sun don't shine and rolled him on down the street, you know. And we just called it a day and out of, you know, lit up the stogie and walked off in the sunset. <laughs> sunset. Casper, what'd you say, man? Austin bomber, dog. Why you not a terrorist, bro? Right, hell no, ain't no good explanation for that shit. 
Right, yeah. 19 days straight. Almost terror. That's down there a whole month, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> More money, what you Tampa Bay shooter, he wasn't caught a terrorist either. The dude that was murking, the sniper that was killing people in Tampa Bay. Yeah. yeah. He, had the, he had the whole town scared for a month and a half. Hell yeah. And no, he a wasn't sniper. Caught, a sniper is worse. Yeah, he's a black dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I, I, I feel bad because I want to get a nigga some recognition. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like being a terrorist, nigga. <laughs> you only held niggas down for a whole month, though, and shit. But, hey, shout out to that yeah, nigga. I, I feel fucked up on the good. Nobody thought that was black either, shit. No. Dog, I had no and idea. In the trunk? Yes. I, it was. With I a had, rifle? With a rifle. <laughs> I don't know if that's some white shit. Ain't that where Ray Caruso's ass was in the goddamn truck? He was hiding, though. <laughs> that's, that's nigga shit. Yeah, he he was hiding. <laughs> he wasn't shooting. He was hiding from the police. That's in nigga the driveway. Shit. <laughs> right, in the driveway. That's, that's nigga shit. <laughs> Ray Caruso's ass. How long? Is that nigga, is that nigga alive in jail? He's about to get out. He's about to get out? Yeah. yeah. What, 92? Yeah. Fucking Ray Caruso. Anyway, man. What, buddy? What you say? Because he was white, bro. Flat out, yeah. flat out. There's no, there's no other fucking no other way, bro. Ain't it, bro. no way to put it, bro. It's just because he's white, bro. And, and, and he terrorized motherfuckers like a motherfucker. He had motherfucker in terror. So, <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, exactly. So, in terror. I mean, that's all. Ain't I nothing, else to it. nothing else to it. Yeah, that's the crazy shit, though, man. Like, uh, shit. Shout out to the families that had to go through that shit. I think only a couple people actually got killed. Uh, some people got hurt though, fucking around with some mail bombs and shit. Dog, that's some crazy shit. But uh, at the at the end of the day, though, we all think I think we all can agree why he ain't never been called a terrorist and shit. I think we all know that. But uh, what I am thankful though is that at this point they got him off the street. Whether he did that shit himself or what, uh, but obviously I guess he blew himself up with one of his own little bombs and shit. But uh, he learned. He learned his lesson. Firecrackers. Right. <laughs> right. Jason Pierre Paul. He said what? Oh, shit. <laughs> He's just oh, trade. Damn. On that note, dog. We <laughs> fucking <laughs> Yo, Check out. I want to thank everybody who checked us out tonight, man. Everybody who checked us out on eblockradio.com. Everybody who checked us out on Facebook Live. Make sure you share this and then share it some more and then share it again. And, and then comment on that motherfucker. And don't forget, we do interviews too. So if you want to interview, hit me in the inbox or uh, email me at eblockradio. At gmail.com. All right, till the next time, man. You already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet, Earth. man. Straight from the E Block Radio, live on your dial. I got my man Angry Man in the building. Man, white privilege. <laughs> I got my man Lucius Washington in the building. All right, y'all, Jive Turkeys. <laughs> well, I got my man Casper, Mr. Uh, Mr. White Privilege in the building right know. now. I don't know what that shit is. You say, you don't know what that shit is? <laughs> <laughs> That shit must have been. That shit must have died when I got born. It died when you got born. That's a privilege. Shit. The mold was broken. I got my man. So I guess this is his overcome. Right. He's overcome. I got my man, my buddy in the building. Man, you already know what it is. And of course, man, you got your man, the hood, Howard Stark, Q Lewis. Hold it down from six miles to the mile high, man. We about it, dog. Peace out, Joe. Fuck with us. Share the shit.